What is that? Don't let these guys fool you. Now, I haven't been excited about seeing fish poo. And I wanted to share this with you guys. Tiki Falls is doing. Now I want to show you guys something. Look at it, it's clear. Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy, the Hawaiian Fish Keeper. If you're new to the channel, let me be the first to give you a nice, big, warm aloha and welcome. I got some exciting news to share with you guys. Not only that, though, no, I got to show you guys something. Check it out. All the leaves are gone. Remember this tree? How many leaves? Yeah. Well, pretty much on the ground here. I actually uh, blew them over there. You can see them against the fence there. We are done with the fall here. So I can actually take this netting off and not have to worry about leaves falling down. We'll give it one more good blow. <gasps> so as you can see, there's still some leaves here on the ground, here and there. But other than that, all the fish in Tiki Falls are doing great. You can see them over here hanging out. The water is extremely cold. I looked at the temperature and it was about 45 degrees. Not freezing cold, but it's still cold. It's cold to where I can't feed them. It's a little too cold. I can't digest the food. So with that being said, we're just going to let them hang out for a while. Uh, there's some fish over here on this side, but yeah, Tiki Falls is doing great, guys. Tiki Falls is doing just fine for those of you who are curious and wondering now i want to show you guys something really cool let's get in the house because it's cold let's go all right so check this out all right so mrs hawaiian fish keeper got these for me for christmas and i couldn't help but open it up early and i wanted to share this with you guys look at this oh Wow, look at these signs that she had made. Look at that. The logo, Hawaiian Fish Keeper. The background is like a koi. You can see the koi uh, burned in. This is all burned in wood right here. Got the hibiscus flower, which is one of my favorite, and it's also the uh, Hawaii State flower. But check it out, right? Isn't this beautiful? Look it, look it. And not only that though, I'm gonna show you guys another sign. Look at this one. This one is sick. Look at this one. You got the wave, Hawaiian fish keeper. Look at this, this is all burned in. It's really cool. You can see it's textured almost like uh, 3D, but it's on a piece of wood. Look at this. Isn't that tight? Oh man, I love it. I love it. I wanted to share this with you guys. I got two of these signs. Maybe we can add these to Tiki Lounge when we get this bad boy up and going though. Love this. I give a huge shout out to Ben Rogers over at Burned Wood Print. Check him out. I'll leave his Instagram link down in the description below. DM him if you're interested on getting any sign made, custom made. Send him your logo, verbiage, anything. He'll customize it, put it on something, something unique. You know, he's just a small time artist trying to bring something unique to the table. That's what it says in his bio over on his Instagram page. So go check him out. Family owned business, local business. And that's who I love to support. Not only that though, did you check out the sign? It is fire. So go check them out. Like I said, prices are super reasonable too. And every piece is unique. So I give a huge shout out, not only to Ben, but to my wife. I really thank you for that Christmas gift. And yeah, we spoiled it and opened it early, but hey, you know, it was well worth it. I love the signs, Ben. Thanks again, brother. Aloha. Okay, so I've been receiving a lot of comments lately uh, in regards of Jason Voorhees, how he's doing. Now, Jason Voorhees is my green terror cichlid. I actually treated him for sunken belly. He has an internal parasite. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a card up above. Go click on that card. Go check out the way I actually treat him for this internal parasite. Anyways, I'm going to show you some footage. Uh, about 24 hours after I treated him, uh, this is what was going on. So as you can see, He's got that long piece of thread looking poo. 
Yeah, that's the internal parasite. It's actually like the lining in the inside. So with that actually being flushed out of his system, that's a good sign, it's a good start. You can see how long it is. It's like seven feet long. It's like record breaking. I was ready to call Guinness Book of World Records on that, but uh, yeah, it's a good sign though. That means it's flushing out of his system. Uh, you know, that Epsom salt, you know, serving its purpose as a laxative. So that's gonna get flushed out. I wanted to show you guys that footage and then here's some more footage. This footage here is um, me feeding him a small piece of shrimp. Now the goal is to actually see him eat and hold it down. If he's spitting it up, that means that internal parasite is uh, stopping him from eating his food or digesting his food. So. I fed him the shrimp. It looks like he held it in, as you can see in the footage. Now, I haven't been excited about seeing fish poo uh, before. So, like, every day I'm, like, running up to the tank to look down at the tank to see if I see any, like, healthy fish poo. It's not, like, long and stringy. Um, so, let's go check out his tank and uh, see if we see some um, good fish poo. <laughs> let's go check it out. Bunch of sickos. <sighs> So looky, looky here, guys. Look at that beautiful piece of fish poo hanging from his butt. It's almost like capturing lightning in a bottle to, to actually get footage of a fish pooing. It was just right time, right place, and there you go. Beautiful piece of fish poo. He just had some shrimp, so uh, this is a great sign. It, it's not long and stringy like it used to be. It's got some girth, and I can't believe we're talking about fish poo right now, but it's a great sign. He's He's... He's healed, you know? Um, you know, and now I can't wait for his colors to just come out. You know, I've had this fish for about two years. He shouldn't look this beat up. So he was just sick, you know, but he's uh, going in the right direction. I'm loving the way he looks. Uh, now all the remaining floating pieces of stringy poo, you wanna remove that as soon as it comes detached from the fish with like, you know, uh, maybe a, a suction hose or um, I use a, a turkey baster that helps out to remove all that parasite stringy fish poo you don't want him to eat it again but he's doing great guys look at him okay so i was gonna go ahead and do this by myself but you know what i said you know the ohana deserves this right so i'm gonna do this with you guys here on this video remember when i did that video where i went to the dollar tree and got some items there for the aquarium hobby if you haven't seen it i'll leave a card up above go ahead and click that card check it out you can get a ton of things at the dollar tree for only a dollar for our aquarium hobby. This is the soap dish that I bought. Can you guys see that? Okay, so basically, it's got the little suction cups there. You suction cup it to the bathroom wall and you put your soap in there. Now, you know, it's kind of hollow. It's got a hole on the bottom there. So the water drains. What I plan on doing is using this as a little, I guess you can say, I don't know, a planter. And we're gonna stick all the pothos plants in here on one of my aquariums. And we're gonna let the opening there, all the roots hang through the opening. This is gonna be stuck on to the back of the aquarium inside the tank underwater. Well, just right about the surface area. That way it'll hold all of the pothos plants and let the uh, roots kind of just dangle through at the bottom. So sometimes, you know, your pothos plant will fall down in your aquarium, you gotta go get it, or it's constantly shifting and moving due to the uh, hang on the back filters or the current in the actual aquarium. This is just gonna kind of keep everything together and group it together nice and neat. So uh, let's go ahead and stick this on and uh, see how it works. Yo, check it out. It is so easy to put on. Suction cups work great and it was really fast. Check it out. Okay, so this is Maui and Moana's tank. Now, you see the container, you can kind of see it in the back there. Look at it, it looks just like a little flower pot. You can kind of see um, all the stems of the actual pothos plant, and then of course all the roots just kind of just hanging in there. Now, obviously you can actually drop that down lower if not, but you can see the water level has uh, dropped in the tank. So I'm definitely gonna do a water change here. So this water level will be up higher, uh, but you can even see the new growth of the pothos plant. If you look down there, I'll go up from the top here, check it out. You can see the new growth growing. You can see the pot from the top and it just keeps it organized or somewhat organized. You know how this pothos plant, it's really like, you know, it's like a, a vine, you know, and it can just go crazy. So this little like soap dish flower pot for pothos for the aquarium actually works perfect. I'm gonna actually go back 
to the Dollar Tree and get um, like maybe three more. Look at it, it's clear. You can't even see it, especially if your pothos is growing uh, like this one is crazy with all the roots. It just kind of covers it. Um, but like if you had like more pothos over here or over here on this side of the tank, it just keeps it organized. And I love it. Man, this was actually a really cool pickup. You can actually see the new growth above the water and uh, you can actually guide those leaves. Once it starts to grow, you can guide them, you know, outside of the aquarium because I got this little uh, opening right here. You can kind of pull them through. It just runs crazy, which I love. I love how it looks on top of the aquarium. You can kind of see it kind of hides the HOBs. But not only that, though, I have, uh, you know, a little the pump up here up top. I can go ahead and like do this, kind of disguise my pump. You know, this, it's so long though. This pothos plant, I mean, you can do all kinds of stuff with it. Look at this one here, this one piece runs all the way down the side of the aquarium, which I don't mind because it kind of hides the wires here, you know? So you can all do all kinds of crazy stuff with this uh, pothos plant. You know, you can actually put little nails on the wall and you can actually have it start to run up the wall if you want, you know? So pothos plant is definitely a plus. You need to get a pothos plant uh, in the back of your aquarium. It filters the water too. It takes care of the nitrates. Um, so this house plant here, very, very useful in the aquarium hobby. Don't let your cats or dogs eat it though. It's very poisonous and toxic to them. So do not let them eat this plant. But overall for the aquarium hobby, I mean, shoot, if you just have fish, look at that plant. And then look at, these are all the roots from all those vines there. It's a success, guys. A success. Go pick up one of those soap dishes at the Dollar Tree, guys. We can't leave this tank without saying hi to my beautiful flower horns. Uh, this is Maui and Moana, my male super red dragon flower horn and my female fader flower horn. Now, they've been together in this aquarium, or I should just say together in general as a pair for about, man, I want to say maybe two months now. Uh, no drama, occasional lip lock in here and there, but for the most part, they get along. Look at them. Yeah, I couldn't leave this tank without saying hi and uh, just giving you guys an update on these two um, lovebirds, we should just call them. Let's give them a little pinch. You guys want a little food? Watch them. Oh, oh, they know their food. Oh, yeah, they know their food. Don't let these guys fool you. Fish know what's up. There you go. Yum, yum. Yum yum. Oh, look how beautiful Maui's looking, huh? You can see they got some marks on their lips doing some lip locking. But for the most part, Finnage is looking nice. Maui and Moana. Yeah, they're doing good, guys. Let's do a quick update on Ricky Vaughn, my little baby flower horn. Now, if you're new to the channel and you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'll leave a card up above. Click on that card. Go check out the video. I pretty much bring this dude back to life. He was pretty much dead on arrival. Anyways, go check it out. It is an insane video. And um, I'll do a quick update because a lot of you guys have been commenting lately about, uh, hey, how Ricky Vaughn is doing. And I named him Ricky Vaughn for a reason. You got to see the video so you understand. But uh, yeah, let's go see him. Here he is, Ricky Vaughn. Look at him. He's doing great, guys. He really is. Uh, colors banging, finage, nice, healthy, no disease. Um, yeah, he's doing great. Let's give him uh, some pellets, all right? Let's see him uh, go to work. I've been feeding him a couple times a day. Anyways, uh, he, he knows his food. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at his... Uh, little nuchal hump on his head it's coming in like i said he's about three and a half inches if you guys want to know but look at the colors on this guy he's so little so let's go ahead and uh give this guy some food watch him go to work look at him such a good eater aggressive eater too he's a little piggy little piggy loves his pellets though look at that yellow developing you know uh, just like on his jawline underneath there look at it he's got some yellow um, if you guys want to know what his mom and dad look like uh, go check out that video I'm telling you you'll love it you'll get to know a lot about this little guy here and what he went through you talk about some uh, adversity oh my gosh look at the colors 
He's kind of got like a teal and a green. So I'm about to watch a movie right now with the family. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a big like. And our last video was just short of 300 likes. My Ohana, we fell short. I wanted to go down there and get that beautiful female koi betta. Oh, we were pretty close though. I don't know, maybe we'll just take a drive down and get it anyways. I love you guys. Other than that, I'll see you guys on the next video. Much love and aloha.